Hey guys, what's going? It's Dynasty Reload coming back at you guys. And this tutorial, I want to show you how to do the double jump. I'm probably going to be adding this into the Trap Master server for the TNT run map just because it'll help out a lot. For that way, they can double jump around if they need to. And we're going to extend this as a Java plugin first. And we're going to implement Listener. Both these implement, sorry import both of these make sure you do the bucket and first off we're going to want to in or er, make a public void on enable and that just need to do that and we can easily just type out get server dot get plugin manager and register all right yeah so it helped if I spelled this stuff right get server register events which okay so this comma this and you're done with that so now, pretty much what this whole entire thing is going to be doing is going to be doing or dealing with event handlers. So event.handler. And for the first one, we're going to do public void. And it's going to be on player movement. Sorry if I sound a little nasally, by the way, guys. I'm My allergies are acting up so bad today. This first day, it's actually acted up. So I don't know what happened. Yesterday I had a lot of stuff going on. That's why I didn't get to upload. I'm sorry about that. And so we're going to rename that to just event. Oh, open it. Yeah, make sure you open it. So import this. And for this part, you're just going to do player, player equals event.get player and you can close that import player right here so you got that imported we're gonna make an if statement so if player dot get game mode um is equal or is not equal to game mode All right up oh, spelled game mode dot creative there we go so if it's not equal to creative then and it's not player dot get location so the right right yep get location dot subtract zero comma one comma zero dot get block and get type so now that you got all that you want to make it accept material dot air you're gonna have to import material right here well that's saying you can use it alright so if the player does not have game mode creative and their location is anywhere but in air so the block underneath them has to be air because it's subtract zero one zero so subtract one on the y-axis from where you're currently at get the block get the type of the block and if it's not material error then you can use it so after you get the material you also want to do this um, let me click there we're also going to set it and if the player is not so what an exclamation mark is saying is not pretty much is flying 
So if he's not flying, then player dot set allow flight to true. And what's the saying? Okay, we need to spell allow right for this to work. Allow. Alright, so what it's saying, if the person or if the player is not in game mode creative and they aren't um, one block above air in the air, then the, and the player is not flying, then they can fly. So it's kind of contradictive, but here we are going to make another add event handler. This is also going to be a public void on player toggle flight and we're going to set this to player toggle flight event to just event and open it up so we're going to have to import player toggle flight event so it's underlined in red so for this part we're going to do player player equals event that get player so once it gets the player alright so player is going to be underlined most likely in here just because it's not defined really anywhere so we're going to make an if statement so if if player dot get game mode um so we're gonna close it is equal to game mode dot creative okay creative then return the Oh, we gotta make that lowercase or it's not gonna work. Then return that command. <clears throat> so now you're gonna set the event dot set allow flight to true. No. Set event dot set canceled. Hope if I spell cancel right the first time. So set this to true. So it's saying if they try to do that, make sure it doesn't happen. Pretty much. So event dot set allow flight to false. So, um, we're gonna have to import that. Actually, that's gonna be player dot set allow false. Forget about that. It's saying if the this is the event cancel, so you want to cancel the player allow flight. So these are all going to be player commands. So player dot set flying false. And you also want to do player dot set velocity velocity to player dot get location oops dot get direction dot multiply the direction that you're going by 1.5 you can make it as big as you want the bigger you set it the higher you'll and farther you'll go Alright, so this needs to go down here. Dot set y to one extra. That way you'll get more of an upper effect. So now that you got all that closed out, multiply. Make sure you spell it right. I am typing fast. So I am misspelling a couple things that I wouldn't usually misspell. So save it. Your plugin.yml file. It's short this time that's all you need so after you get that make sure you click on your folder your plugin folder file 
export next finish yes and reload all right so there we go and i died to a zombie go figure but anyways so as you can see i'm in survival <coughs> by uh, difficulty zero all right so if i spacebar twice like I'm trying to allow my flight then I double jump so you guys see whichever direction I'm looking I go more towards so I'm looking straight out go out more if I'm looking up I go up more so if I look straight up I'll just go straight up in the air straight down I'll just go down lower I guess and yeah so that's how you set double jump usually you want to set it to maybe 1.1 1.01 something like that if you're doing more TNT jump double jump but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as you can see in game mode one so in creative mode you cannot do it because it'll just let you fly and yeah so make sure you're in game mode survival and you can double jump or game mode adventure will work too actually but in the next episode, I will definitely either be bringing out classes or something like that. Open G or er, the GUI menu I might do because that's pretty simple to do. So just be looking out for that. I'm not sure what I'm going to be posting tomorrow yet, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Also, I guess I'm sorry this is kind of like weird sounding, but like I said, I'm kind of sick and it's late, so I want to get to sleep. And yeah, so I'll be on tomorrow sometime, probably later, like tonight and Friday I'll be on late tonight or that night but all weekend I will be staying up late for you guys so I'll probably be uploading two or three videos a day hopefully I know this weekend I'm not going to be doing a, t t a video with the trap mouse but I will be doing one next weekend for survival games so I'm going to try to get somebody on the server or on a server to do a dual com with me and yeah so just make sure you guys are looking out and Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and later.